Today we're talking about analysis of variance or ANOVA. We'll be finished in about two minutes. It's going to be quick and easy. You are going to love this. So stick with me. Boom shakalaka. If you want to learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. Okay, ANOVA or analysis of variance. Remember, we work in the tidyverse. It expands the vocabulary of R. Inside, when you've installed the entire version, you've called with the library function, we've got access to a data set called msleep, that is sleeping habits of mammals. So if we look at those habits right here, we can see we've got vores, right? Eating habits of mammals right there, carnivore, omnivore, et cetera, et cetera. And we've got their REM sleep over here. And we're going to ask the question, is the average REM sleep for each of these categories the same? If you look at this diagram I've got at the bottom on the right, right, we've got our density plots and we've got the distribution of REM sleep. The null hypothesis is that the average REM sleep for each of these categories is the same. If the data doesn't support that, we can reject the null hypothesis and accept that what we're seeing, the differences, we're seeing that there is a difference, that they're not all the same. Does that make sense? Okay, let's have a look at the code. Pretty easy to do. First of all, we're creating an object. I'm just calling it my data, right? And I've already created it there and it's M sleep. We are assigned to that we're piping into the, that into the select function we're just selecting out vor and rem sleep that's our categorical and our numeric variables and then we're piping that into the drop na in other words we want to remove all the missing values then we're using we're going to create another object called mod one that's just model one you could use any any phrase there the anova function a the ov is applied to three arguments here the first argument is our numeric variable sleep rem we're going to disaggregate that by vor this little tilde here you could think of that as by we're disaggregating that by vor and our data is equal to my data the new object that we created a few seconds ago it's important to note that the data equals my data is at this point it's it's an argument that is after we've described the relationship between the numeric and, and categorical variable. And you'll see why that's important in just a minute. So if we control enter, we can see we've got our new object there. And then we call a summary of that model. And here we can see all of our data with respect to the model pop out here. I'm not gonna go through that in detail right now, but the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we have an alpha value that we have to cut, that we have to determine ahead of time. And so we say this is statistically significant that in a, we can reject the null hypothesis that these that these the average REM sleep across these eating categories is the same. I just want to quickly show you how you can do the exact same thing in one step using pipe operators. All right, so we could start with M sleep, pipe that into select categorical and numeric variables, pipe that into drop NA, pipe that directly into the ANOVA function. Right, so you don't need now. You don't need to specify the data because we know we're piping the object. We're piping the data object into the function. Right, you don't need to specify the data. However, R ordinarily expects when you pipe a data object using pipe operators, it expects the data to be the first argument. And in this case, as I pointed out earlier, the ANOVA function AOV expects data to be at the end. So we say data equals dot just to tell R to put the data back there then pipe that straight into summary and voila, of course you get the exact same result. All done in one simple step. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't have a change, don't do drugs. Always do your best, speak to you soon. Take care, bye.